Ooh, that's a cute outfit. What is that? Cute. Cute. I also like those colors. I also want to do a um, uh, Valentine's Day event on my stream. Don't ask me what it'll be, though, but I want to do one. I think that would be really fun. Uh, let me move my... There it is. I want to do something, but I'm not, I'm not sure what is possible. I am not sure. All right, let me go check my homestead. By the way, hi, Fed. Oh, my God. I have to tell you guys. Look what I got. So there's a fishing event going on, and you have a chance to get, like, these four different homestead animals. You got the cat, the camel, the husky, and then the elephant. Um, but I got the camel and the cat. Yay. Apparently, they're kind of rare or something like that. I don't know how rare. Probably not that rare. This one sells for, like, I don't know, 600K on the auction house. This one sells for, like, 5 mil. Um, probably because it's freaking adorable. So cute. I also, like, added some things and expanded my homestead just a little bit. I added more farms, finally. Um, I have so many homestead seeds from the fishing event. Every time I do the fishing event, my inventory is like, screw you, Kylie. Uh, wait, do I not have any more? <gasps> it expired. Oh, that's okay. Hold on. We got it. We got to do, we got to do the dailies. Uh, okay. I guess I will do the next best thing, which is cabbage. <sighs> Anyways. Oh, wait. I need to put some music on. It's way too quiet. Be Hi, careful, Air. Cat looks like it is going to take over the world. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's just how cats look. I know, it's so cute, isn't it? By the way, hi, Air. How have you been? Are you staying? Well, did, did you survive the winter storm? <laughs> the winter storm. Okay, let's see. There's one I thought was it this one. There was one I really liked. Let me know if this is too loud, by the way. Hi, guys. Hi, Ty. Everybody's coming. Oh, my God. Wow. Wait, this is awesome. Hey. Thank you. I'm going to give these to uh, F and Orca as well. Thanks. I have, unless they don't need any. I'm sure they do, though. We're all working on our homesteads here. Um, but this is this is uh, this is such a cute little thing in the game. Basically, people can design like their own home or like little homestead in Mavenogi, and you can get super creative with it. I have not uh, put too much time and energy into this yet. One day I will. One day I will. Until then. I just get homestead stones every day and farm and stuff. You got a new bow? Ooh, ooh, cool. That one looks like a legit bow. Like, that looks like one of the bows that I used when I was actually doing archery lessons. Composite bow? Is it a composite bow? Ooh, fancy. What is it called? I don't know. What I can't remember what the name of that is. Folk. Oh, compound bow. That is it. Ooh. It's like legit. <laughs> what are you making? <laughs> Always need seeds. I'll give them to you and FN later if you want, Orca. The homestead design I'm going for is chaotic dump. <laughs> I think I want to make like a uh, fairy wonderland, maybe. I don't not sure yet. I have to see like what kind of items are 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 in the game first. Oh, you're right. Ooh, fancy. Oh, look at that. You got rank one reforge on it. Ooh, crash shot on it, and effective range, and an elemental. Holy cow, that's really good. I'm not sure how erg works, but good job. I'm assuming that's the highest. Same bow as me. 
Uh, I don't think so. My bow is not that great. Or not that great. It's amazing. What am I saying? Um, but it's not like the rate, the, oh yeah, wait. I have crit and effective range on mine. Hold on, I think I'm getting this confused with my outfit. I've been trying to like get good stuff on my outfit. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what I got confused with. I'm trying to, I got, I got rank two on my hat. Uh, rank one bohemian hats with good enough um, set bonuses was really hard to find. So, but everything else is rank one, but I didn't get anything good on it, per se. Or at least I'm trying to get better stuff on it. Anyways, I've, I learned about that this, uh, these past couple of days. It's been fun. Um, let me see if I can merge any of these seeds. There we go. Anyways, I like having something to work on, so... Learning about uh, some decent equipment and stuff instead of just using Blanid. I like that. I don't know what gear to get to replace Blanid. Doctor will know. Hi, Peru. How are you? Hello. Oh wait, did my did my title and stuff not change? There we go. Hopefully it did. Doctor was helping me out. Doctor and Yvesu and um, uh, uh, another other people. Oh my god, I'm blanking. Aw, thank you for the hydration check. I survived the winter storm last year. It was crazier though. I've been busy because I moved to a new place closer to Prosper. Oh, okay. Was it just for work? Oh my god, shut up. Um, I need to enchant. That was the next thing we were going to work on is figuring out enchanting. But I was going to wait until Thursday to use these enchants because apparently Thursday is the uh, enchant day. The enchant day. So, does anybody have high enchants, by the way? Hey, look, you have a be bohemian outfit too. Hey, your hat, it's also ring too. Ha <laughs> ha, it's like me. I got the Magnum set bonus. I didn't get the support shot bonus because I don't really use support shot. Also, somebody told me support shot got nerfed or something. <laughs> Not that I would know, but. You're rank seven enchant. I mean, it's better than me. I have rank E. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's under magic. I have rank E. <laughs> I think, let's see, these, these enchants I have are rank A, rank 5, rank 8, rank D, rank 9, rank 9. I could probably do rank D. Um, I need to, I need to leave the homestead. I need to go and turn in some uh, uh, balloon thingies. So let me go do that real quick. Hi, J Space Man. Hi. How are you doing today? Oh, I are there are they new Joy Cons, Edward? I don't think I've seen them. Remember to constantly turn in your sky lantern so you can get bunny coins. And to go get the fishing one. I say fishing one, the fishing quest, the fishing daily, because you're going to fish anyways. Because of the fishing event that's going on. Have y'all got any, have y'all got any black bags yet? Nobody? Anybody? Did you get lucky yet? Get, get anything really good, like a black bag? I think that's like the rarest item. I don't know what the second rarest is. Um, all right. I should probably have kept all of my little fishing traps so I could have opened it on stream, but alas, I forgot. I also, oh, I need to go bring 10 smelts. 
Uh, I also did this. Let's see. I am at the 90 one. So next one I get uh, is a bellflower fishing pole, which looks really nice. Let's see. How many fish do I have? I have a seven. <laughs> I have a while to go. I have all of these freaking sturgeon and lampfreys. I don't know what to do with them. And then I have so many smelts, but it's okay. Um, let me go and turn in that other quest real quick before I start Generation 3. <gasps> yours is at rank 1? Oh! Why did I assume that yours wasn't high enough? Duh, okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll enchant with you, Doctor. I didn't know it was rank one. By the way, when you do the quest, you have to make sure to hit complete before you can get 30 more fishing bait. Where is the bait? Oh, here it is. All right. Oh, oh yeah, today's the last day for the bunny event. Wait a second, you're right. Oh my god, thank you for reminding me. Hold on, I need to go back. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Fed. Thank you for reminding me to tell others. Guys, if you remember that we're having maintenance tomorrow. Maintenance is probably, what, like 9 to 12? I can't remember the exact times, but um, you need to... Turn in your bunny coins before, uh, before the before the end of the day, because you don't want to go. You don't want to show up tomorrow and realize that it's already gone. You can't spend any of your bunny coins. That's just the currency of the event. I have a hundred and ninety. I am just shy ten bunny coins, but I think if I fish. I get 20. Cool. All right, hold on. Let me fish real quick. I'll just fish, like, right over here. And then I'll do my fishing event later. Let's use the normal one. Oh, that's not the... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted your fifth pet? How many are you... Oh, shoot. I have to wait. I forgot I needed bait. How many uh, coins do you have, Orca? I only got three. This will be my fourth one. You're working on advancing your Erg to the next tier. Good luck. I really don't understand Erg too much right now, but I know it's rare in RNG, so I wish you the best. I actually love work, but I want to play Mavi so much. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> Don't worry. I am always amazed that y'all can actually see that UI. I have gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it, Lulu. At first, it really, it really bugged me. Um, because again, it was just so. There is no one available to revive. What about my pet? Oh, maybe it was trying to use the other feather. Um, I've gotten just so used to it, so it's okay. Also, I think I need, like, normal bait. I feel like I don't want to use that bait. Uh, does anybody here sell bait? I know Walter and Dumbarton does, but I don't know if there's anybody else that sells bait. Let's see, general shop maybe? Maybe this guy? Do you sell bait, sir? Dang it. I don't think he does. All right, let me go to Walter real quick. I think you can buy another. Yeah, I'll probably... Mm, should I buy another one? Do I need four fairy bunny pets? Or should I spend that on something else? The inventory is really nice. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about for fin sink? Uh... 
that's like, what is that again? That's like merging. It's like merging pets together to make just one and then to have like one giant inventory, right? Where's the, wait, where's the bait? Am I wrong? Where do you buy bait? <laughs> Dang it, I thought I, I thought I knew what I was doing. I did it! Okay, let me get Mavi Wiki. Bait 10 is what it's called, I think. <laughs> Literally, nobody. It's freaking Malcolm. Okay, hold on to tier then. Malcolm sells it. Your other pets will eat the fairy. How do I know which which name it should have? <laughs> should I make them fight to the death? <laughs> Whoever wins won't get eaten. <laughs> At the ice event? Oh, you're probably right. It's okay. I needed to buy some anyways. All right. Uh, I don't... Um, I'm gonna go back here. I'm just gonna quickly finish the bunny event thing. <clears throat> and just fish for ten... Ten little fishies and then... Go about my business. So what, I'll have 10, I'll have, if I buy the other bunny pet, oh, my back is so sore. Uh, if I, if I buy the, one more bunny pet, I'll have 10 bunny coins left over. What can I buy with 10? Future food one, no. It's so nice to have a butler partner. He has a general shop. Really? That's cool. It's like, it's like my snacking way. My little food cart thing. <laughs> I love how it just has like all of the, all of your cooking needs. I got a blowfish. <sighs> EXP potion or a free repair kit. Cost five each. Mm, not a die. <clears throat> I kind of like, I kind of enjoy getting the direct dye ampules. It's kind of nice. It's like getting a free white dye. However, they expire. So. Oh, the die costs 20. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <sighs> Does the EXP potion or the free repair kit expire? Y'all, oh, I got a bathing suit. Oh, just kidding. That's underwear set. Why am I fishing up underwear sets? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> you think everything expires? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should, like, let me look at the list again. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Oh, I got a Mako shark. Wait, can't I just like right click open? Oh, feed to seal. Interesting. Seal. You went skinny dipping? Oh, is that your underwear, Orca? Okay, I'll return it to you when I see you. <laughs> they lost it while swimming. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's okay. I fished it out for them. They can have it back. You pay for VIP and how much is that a month? Uh, I did. I did pay for VIP. Uh, I think it's fourteen, fifteen dollars a month. Um, but if you buy for like longer period of time, like if you know you're gonna be playing Mabby for like a, I don't know, a while, you can just buy the buy it in bulk. I guess 
<laughs> and it's technically cheaper. Um, apparently they had a deal for Black Friday, which I obviously missed. Well, let me see. And apparently the Black Friday deal was, was good. Um, let's see. Also, you get, well, wait, that's different. Style tab is different. Never mind. Um, shop. Let's see. What would it be under? Services? Because there's VIP and then there's premium. Premium is cheaper. VIP for 30 days is $14,900. So basically $15 an X. And then you can buy it for 90 days, which is $37,900, which is like $38. So I don't know how much you save there. Uh, math, hashtag math. <laughs> But it seems like you save a little bit. Black Friday is 50% off on November. <laughs> Dang it! The VIP gives you the style tab included. I guess the reason why I mentioned the style tab is because when I was playing, like, when I started this character, I got, like, so many of those style... Uh, what is it? The, the keys or whatever? And apparently the keys stack. Look, I have 85 days. <laughs> A long time because I kept using those keys and they stacked. Drama! Hi! Thank you for the 26 months. How are you doing? Hello! See how close am I? 70%? Three more. Three more fish. What do I have to do today for generation three? Oh, it's dark night. Ooh. I think it'll probably start, Generation 3 will probably start immediately when I click complete. What is this? Unless this is Generation 3? Oh, I think this is, that's the start, because it says I'll receive an urgent message from the goddess. Oh, all right. Apparently Generation 3 is a little long. I do not expect to finish it today, just FYI. I'm just gonna go until, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. Maybe like one, two hours. <laughs> See how I feel. I got home from vacation yesterday. Welcome home. How was your vacation? What did you do? Where'd you go? That sounds nice. Garbage herb. Ugh. <sighs> I would like to go trip to Japan this year. I would like to go in April or May. That I would definitely, if I go then, I would probably miss the cherry blossom season, which is okay. I'm hoping to go to Japan during golden week, which is basically like a week where a lot of Japanese uh, workers get the days off, like that whole week basically. Cause it's like the emperor's birthday there's like children's day there's like so many holidays that happen that week that's why they call it the golden week the only problem though is everything might be really crazy <laughs> but i wanted to go so that we could hang out with tom's family and friends and not have to worry about them having the day off there we go i finished bam, bam, bam. okay let me put whoa where am i going let me put this away. I am leaving your underwear here, Orca. Okay. And then let me go and turn in a marlin. I went on a cruise to the Bahamas. It was fun, but I caught a cold in the middle of it. Oh, no. That's what happened to me, too, drama. I went on a cruise and I got sick. Ugh. Hopefully it wasn't too bad and you could still enjoy yourself. <laughs> Use. What did I get? Oh, I got an adventure seal. No, I didn't. I got a fish. Or wait, or maybe I got both. I got two adventure seals from turning in that marlin. Not bad. Smells fishy. <laughs> Some lucky fan of mine will be lucky to find it. <laughs> Arca. 
Okay. All right, let's start generation three, shall we? Ooh. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Can I hear you? I don't know, can you speak a little louder? What is going on? Aaron is in danger. The seals separating Aaron and the other world are being broken. Oh, jeez. That's not good. If this continues, Chicho's army will swarm over Aaron. Ah. I know it's pronounced keyhole. Uh, please help Tarlock tell him of this. Please protect your world. Not Chicho. How dare Chicho? How dare you? Oh gosh dang. Man, the flash bangy in this game is for real. Ooh, I got a G2 Paladin Clear Reward Box. What does that do? What's in here? Used to obtain various items. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's gonna wreck my inventory. Is it okay? <gasps> oh yeah, that's good. AP. Give me that. Nice. Not bad. Alright. What do we have here? Talk to Tarlac at Sid of Sabahidime. Got it. Alright, Tarlac, I'm coming to you, buddy. I love the lighthearted music for the series cutscene. <laughs> I wonder if I should switch music. <laughs> I usually do. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe we'll listen to Mavi music while this goes on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Alright, Tarlock. The seal is being destroyed! The seal that separates Aaron from the other world? Then it must be the goddess statues! The ones in the dungeons! Yes, the goddess statues of the dungeons are seals made with the power of the goddess to keep Eren safe from the formers. It seems as though the formers intend to find a way to invade Eren by destroying the statues. And Morgan was trying to warn you of this. This, this is... If I understand the voice of nature correctly, there's something going on with the goddess statue of Barry dungeon in Bangor. There's a destroyed statue in that dungeon and the path to the other world has been opened there. I feel someone trembling in fear. I hear cries of great distress. I'm not coming from, it's not coming from Aaron, but echoing from the other world. Some, <coughs> excuse me. Something is definitely not right, but there's no way I can figure it out from here. Kylie, I need, I need your help on this. First, go and check on the destroyed goddess statue inside Barry Dungeon. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to enter the other world from there. And I feel there's someone we must meet in that place. Ooh. I heard that the owner of the general shop in the town carries all passes to Barry Dungeon. I know it must be a hassle, but you're going to have to talk to the owner of the shop to find a way to get to the destroyed statue inside that dungeon. That seems to be the only way to get there. Check on the destroyed goddess statue inside Barry Dungeon in Bangor and find out what exactly is happening on the, to the seal. Also, please see if you can identify the source of this fearful energy. Thank you. I'm on it! I'm on it! To Barry Dungeon! Where's Bari Dungeon? There's Bari Dungeon. <laughs> Bureau, I'm glad you appreciate my art of mispronouncing things. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Okay, apparently I need to talk to Gilmore. All right, Gilmore. Sir Gilmore, where may you be, sir? Oh, there he is. I like how the hassle of all that for him to, is talking to the shop owner. <laughs> He's like, go to the Bari Dungeon! Go to the Bari Dungeon! But first, talk to Gilmore. Okay, I'm on it. You're here for a Bari Dungeon pass, eh? Since the pass has already been paid for, I'm obliged to give it to you. Take this and hope the, head over to Bari Dungeon. Mine the ore located on the third floor to get ancient spirit fossils. Take those old man eater and all right. After all, you're on your own. Get going. Is that what I needed to do? Oh, I think that was for another quest. 
He definitely watches Gilmore Girls. Definitely. Hi, Rock. Thank you for the three stream streak. Good morning, Game Master. Hello. Okay, here we go. Huh? A place in the buried dungeon with a destroyed goddess statue? Yeah, I know the place you're talking about. That said, the pass to get there costs a fair sum. You still want one? Well, that'll be 1,500 gold in cash, of course. But that's it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the other pass that I got? Spirit Dungeon Pass? Is that for making spirit weapons? I didn't know Mickey Mouse was in this game. Shut up, Evan! <laughs> Garsh! <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Steven! Oh, Laura! Thank you so much for the raid! Hi! How was your stream? Hello! What were y'all playing? What were y'all doing today? It's a good day because my phone got reactivated. That's good. Why did it... It got deactivated for some reason? Alright, let's see. Is this a role-playing dungeon? Probably not. I never know if I can bring people in with me or not. I really don't know. Does it does it normally tell you on the pass if you can? You were playing The Sims. Ooh, what were you doing in The Sims? I'm doing good, Rock. Thank you for asking. Um, I think before I go into this dungeon, I need to go use the restroom again. Um. Hi, Ice King. Hello. I wonder if it'll tell me on the wiki if I can bring people in or not. Mm. Yeah, right, Fed? It's kind of hard to know. Nice, Rock. You are exploring some new packs. Ooh. Ooh, there's one called Cottage Living. That sounds fun. I haven't played The Sims in so long. Um. <clears throat> You got a Butterfinger ad? Really? Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna assume that you can't bring people in. I hope I'm right. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go investigate the seal. Looks like the statue looks fine. Eh. Oh no! It doesn't look fine! It's broken! <gasps> oh god. But we have to go and find the person... That's in here or something. Hi, Asiro. Thank you for the 30 months. How are you doing? 15. This pass costs 1,500 gold, chat. Better be worth it. That is A-okay, Laura. I appreciate you rating me. That was really kind of you. Have a good rest of your day. I understand. Like, after I stream... And I raid someone. Sometimes I just want to raid and run. I don't really want to talk. I just want to raid and go and take a nap or go relax. All good. <clears throat> oh, God, my back is so sore. I'm trying to stretch it out. I'm doing well. I'm doing splendid. I'm really excited for this weekend because it's my niece's um, Cinderella-themed first birthday party. So adorable. I can't wait. I don't know what her... Uh, what, is, what do they do? Smash cake? I don't know if my sister's going to have a smash cake. She had one for my nephew when he first turned one. Oh. Cutscene. The doll. The doll. We gotta open the doll. Oh, who's that? Even then, choosing Rian as their as the heir. Er Ezra, there is nothing I can do about it. An altogether different destiny awaits him. Oh, is this a flashback? He cannot be the Lord. It would bring only misfortune. Is it because of that contract? Sigh. Had I known my children would have to pay for their father's sins, I would have chosen a different course. I'm gonna guess that's Rorari. Father, why?
Interesting. We're getting a little little snidbit into the past. Oh. Oh, there he is. Rory, Rory, please wake up. Yeah. Were you having a nightmare? Triona, you look so sad. I was just worried. Is that what it was? Maybe you're just nervous because of the ritual happening today. It's not morning yet, so just try to get some more sleep. Gotcha. Thanks, Triona. Um, Rari? What's on your mind? Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me more about what your father was like? Eh? Er, never mind. You don't have to answer. Yeah, you should get back to bed, too. That's the former child. Oh, it's a bit text heavy. That's a okay. Whoa, what? What? Damn, where? I'm in the other world. What? Whoa. What do I do here? Offer the berry pass, connect to the other world, to the berry, and talk to Mork. Who's, who's Mork? Ooh, the music sounds different. Uh, Mork? Mork the Orc? Is he up here? Looks like I have to go that way. Mork the Dork? <laughs> Is this still Mavnogi? Yes. How are you liking Generation Story? Did, didn't get to watch? I, I like it. It's alright. There's some things I, I think they could have probably have... Um explained a bit better but that's all right i think there may be some stuff cut out I'm not sure but i've been reading everything uh where the heck where do i what all right How far have you gotten? What, into Mabinogi? <laughs> um, I mean, I've been playing for, like, over a month now. Oh, here he is. Oh, look. He's, he kind of looks like an orc. Mork the orc. I think he's a goblin. Wow, look at that. Look at that loincloth. Do I have a guild? I do. Would you like to join? It's called Pixelated. Kind of like pixelated, but with fairies. Because <laughs> my theme on my stream is fairies. Hmm, why are you here? Yeah, the seal is breaking, the goddess statue breaking too. Matcha is coming, the red goddess draws nigh, and the world will burn. Run, run far away. No, no, I, Mork, did not see anything. I know nothing more, I swear it. Human, what else do you want? That's it, I guess. I just needed to talk to you, apparently. Talk to what? Oh. Oh, cutscene. Uh-oh. The army. They're ready. That booty. <laughs> He's Dobby. What's this? Do you recall what I promised you before, Rari? The power to deliver retribution to this world? Yes, and it begins with this. The blade once steered me upon destiny's course, but now it shall guide you to the power you seek. So, Morgan is evil, right, chat? Wait, I know this sword. Familiar with it, are you? Of course, this is Paragraph, the Sword of Light. The light, the Knight of Light wielded it during the last war against the Formers. There's not a boy alive who doesn't know the tales. I like Paragraph better. Because it's like a paragraph. I must have heard the stories a thousand times. The tales of a mighty warrior who courageously stood against mankind's foes, turning the tide of the war... Uh, for his valor, he became known as the Knight of Light, the one who delivered humans from the clutches of evil, and it was with the Sword of Light that his deeds became legend. 
The tales certainly seem to have lit a fire in you. Alas, they amount to little more than a hero's pain. The text is small, it is. But that, the, but that hero was the reason I strove to become a paladin. I promised myself his spirit would be my guiding star. I truly believe my calling was to defend those in need. Who's talking here? Is it Morgan or is it Rari? It really is you, isn't it? Oh, Lug Lavada, the Knight of Light. But then why? <gasps> Morgan is Lug Lavada? You misunderstand me, Rari. That may have been who I was in times past, but I cast away that name long ago. Do not speak it in my presence again. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. I am the Evermore, and Evermore shall be Morgan, the Dark Lord. Oh, dang. He went edgy. He did. Edgelord. Wow, look at that. He's got the... He's got the whole armor on and everything. Oh, no, it's Chichol. Okay. They who shall bring light to the world of darkness, in the name of the god of darkness, I command thee, shatter the crude seal upon the world of man, brimful of hypocrisy and deception. Forget not the face of the goddess who dared to ignore your desperate pleas for deliverance. Yes, sir! Every- <laughs> even legendary heroes have that edgy face. <laughs> Never forget that Mata's resurrection rests squarely on the outcome of this war. All of this is but a prelude of things to come. I am well aware of that. Okay, I got my questions answered. Praise the Dark Lord! Oh, God! Talk to Willow at a main matcha cathedral. Okay. Alright, time to let everybody know. The end is coming! The end is coming! He doesn't need the, his sword anymore. He's got enough edge to cut it. <laughs> no! Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> this was a turn of events I never saw coming. I know, it's because you didn't read it and you just skipped the cutscenes. <laughs> and that's okay, you can do that. I will read it for you, Orca. I probably won't read it as good, of you, good as you, but I will read it. Also, where's the cathedral? Oh darn it, it's this way. I was heading towards the castle. <laughs> the music changed, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Wedding usher? You can get married here, too? Is this the person I need to talk to? Yeah, it is. Welcome! What brings you to the Church of Limerick today? Ah, you're interested in the legend of matcha? <laughs> matcha? Why do I say it like that? Mat? Like green, like green tea matcha? The story of Macha the Red Goddess is a tragic tale. She fell in love with a mortal man and became human herself. But, then, but when he spurned her advances, she chose to die rather than continue on. Dang. That's why you don't... Just men, am I right? Men? <laughs> just kidding. Placing a curse on the man who betrayed her love, she cast herself in a lake near the city and lost her mortal body in Erin. There's a reason a mermaid is a symbol of the city. Many believe Matcha reincarnated as one after her death. Oh. Matcha's not as well known as Morrigan despite being the goddess of war, largely because she has never appeared before the people of Erin since then. Perhaps the love an immortal goddess bore for a mortal man was destined to disappoint. <laughs> we humans are imperfect beings, and even knowing that, she longed to spend a lifetime together with him. Is this like Christelle and Tarlock, or is this another person? Well, I guess Christelle wasn't a god, so never mind. 
In time, the story of Matcha's curse became a ballad passed down by bards to this day. If you'd like to hear it, I recommend seeking out Nelly, the bard most often found in a main Matcha's town square. Wait. Or maybe maybe it's the mermaid. Oh, it's probably air. But interesting. How do I leave? Question oh, here we go. How do you spell the guild name? Oh, it's P I X I E L A T E D. Like pixelated. 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 If you need to know where the guildstone is, I can show you. I'm assuming you want to join. It's okay if you don't want to, by the way. No one told the goddess there was other fish in the sea. <laughs> she chose the wrong man! I can fix her! <laughs> oh, thank you, Jaya, for typing it out. Yes, please? Yeah, okay. Here, I'll take a short little break. If you go to Tara... I'll go to Tara. Go to the Tara Moon Gate, just the normal one. And then if you, I need to go here anyways. If you walk south towards the lemon tree, it's right by the lemon tree and this wolf apparently. Get out of here. It's right here. Wow, I had 1,800 points to donate. By the way, if you're in the guild, make sure to go and donate your guild points or play points, whatever. Did you just click this button? When you click on this, the thing it goes when you click on the guild statue the first option says convert play points to guild points you're welcome the wolf wanted to join the guild it's not allowed not allowed you've never done that that's okay you probably have a lot of points to donate <laughs> we we don't need the points really right now um, I think the points will, in the future, will be used to, uh, upgrade the guild stone, but I just haven't decided if I want to keep it there. I probably will. <laughs> but I kind of, I don't know, it's like by the wolves, and I hate, like, when we were doing events and stuff, that people would get attacked by the wolves, and I was like, eh, I don't really like this, so I'm not sure. But you need guild points to, like, uh, increase the guild stone, and to also make... A, um, oh wait, I need to go to Nelly. Uh, and to make like a guild robe, but I haven't done that yet. So, don't really need the points right now, but you can go and donate them if you would like. Alright, Nelly. Uh, oh no, I'm supposed to talk to Delin in the main Matcha Town Square. Okay. Wait, Delon. What? Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's talk to her first. You're curious about the connection between a main matcha and the goddess matcha? I've heard before about that before. They say that in the old tongue, a main means something like another body, and depending on the context, can also mean twin. Knowing that the city's name, a main matcha, could refer to another matcha or a clone of matcha or something similar. The founders probably figured they could get Matcha's blessing by naming the city after her. Maybe they weren't even trying to get her a blessing. Perhaps they just didn't want her to curse them again, like what happened before. I guess no one really knows for sure. You should try asking around. Someone else may know a bit more. Maybe a main Delon can dish some secret knowledge. Haha. <laughs> Who, her? Oh, okay. Kind of like knowing the lore. Hi, Chrono. Good morning. You should set up that fairy skill. What fairy skill? I hope we get the guild update soon. Yeah! I heard about that. Don't know too much into it, but I hope we do too. That'd be fun. Yeah, you must prove yourself loyal. Defeat the mighty wolves and then, and then cast upon the guild stone and join. No, Otto, it doesn't do anything. Thank you for sacrificing your points to the fairy mother. Talk to Dell. Okay, talk to Dell. Hmm, is there something you want to say? Ah, you want to know more about the relationship between the goddess Matcha and the town of a maid Matcha. 
The story goes that the city was named after Matcha to appease the angry goddess. This was all a long time ago, of course, but back then the land was suffering a great drought. Rivers and streams ran dry and the farmers reaped meager harvests. There weren't many fish to catch and even fruit on a tree was an uncommon sight. Those who lived here whispered it was because they had fallen under Matcha's curse. So in order to appease her, they decided to name the city of Maid Matcha in her honor. No one can prove it worked, but after they did that, the drought ended and rain fell again. Amazing, isn't it? Really? Who do I talk to next? Nellie. Okay, now we talk to Nellie. <laughs> Auto. When you summon your pet fairy, there's a skill slot on the left. You open the fairy pet skill and put cleanse dust and healing blessing in it. Wait, what? Okay, I have my pet out. Oh, here? Right click the pet, open skill. Oh. Cancels debuffs? Increases HP, MP, stamina, what? I didn't know the, the what? I didn't know these pets could do this. <laughs> what? Oops. I didn't mean to hit this bench. Oh, I bust out some nails. Oh, wow. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know. Wait, pets have skills? Yeah, I know, right? What? <laughs> you can put heal in it too. Oh my god! Wow, it automatically heals you. What? And then I can just click on it. What? Thanks, Fed. I didn't know that. What the heck? Hmm, there's an old song called Matcha's Curse, as you might imagine. It's not especially popular with the locals. I know the lyrics, though. Would you care to hear them? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, proud Dadanan warriors who rest beyond the sky. Are you watching over the world you brought with courage and with blood? Heaven and earth will be as one, the land in harmony. The people filled with strength and life and guided true by love. But even this shall pass away, oh, as the seasons turn. The sons of man grow bolder, they forget what has true worth. They know not their abundance, for their own increase they yearn. And chip at the foundations of their peace, their lives, their mirth. And soon enough, as springtime comes with fields no longer green, the summer weeps for barren trees, flowers bloom no more. In quiet lake and river fish and bird are seldom seen, and waves in loathsome solitude cast sighs upon the shore. <laughs> I was hoping this all rhymes, but no. O oh, woman of the land, tell me, where has your virtue gone? O oh, men, where is your strength to fight for all you hold so dear? Your eyes see no more neighbors, and the shadows linger long. When trust is broken, what is left but emptiness and fear? The knives of the betrayers and forsaking of all bonds shall chase the goodness from this land, so quickening its doom. Your courage long ago has fled. You dread what lies beyond. It fades, it cracks, it crumbles as the world falls to its ruin. When stillness settles over the land and songs are heard no more the desolation you shall mourn my grief to finally snare share a hopelessness so desperate a lamb a limit from heart abhorred the weight of fickle human love so ponderous to bear sounds like a nice song nice and happy nice and happy <laughs> that's how it goes not exactly what you'd call feel good music is it can't think of many folks who want to hear about the fickleness of human love. Not surprising that we bards don't get many requests for it. It takes a bit of a different slate or slant than the tale of Macha's curse that's been passed down from ages ago. Did you catch the difference? Uh, no, not quite. The <laughs> snaps fingers. <laughs> That's right, the song doesn't treat Matcha's curse as something that simply came and went. If Matcha's lament never ended, times like that could come again. If you'd like, I'll share, I'll share everything I learned about Matcha while I was doing research to make an arrangement, so feel free to take a look. You dropped the note I gave you. Here, 
I picked it up for you. You really should try to keep a better hold on your things. Put your notes in the book. My notes in what book? Oh my god. Wait, ha what? Who's Tyron? This book? Wait, did I talk to all of these people? I don't remember talking to all of these people. What the heck? Uh, back in the day you had to go around the world to get these notes? Is this the game just like saving me from endless talking to NPCs? But I didn't even talk to all these people. What did they have to say? I want to know more about Ima or Macha's curse. The heck? You see what I mean? I feel like I like these generations, but I feel like they miss out on some context. Maybe, I mean, is it not necessary? Is it a lot of these people saying they don't know, maybe? And then the only people that did know was Del and Del and, and Nelly. Or Neil, however you say the name. It's saving you about two hours of walking. Um, as long as I... Oh, I can just read it in the book? Okay, hold on. They say that Macha was a great beauty. Apparently her beauty was comparable to that of Rua. Rua? A main Macha is a beautiful city on par with Macha's beauty. Macha was one of three Bada Badka goddesses of war. Macha had the ability to read people's thoughts. They say that Macha could manipulate the fears and anxieties of warriors in battle. It is also said that whenever she's intervened during battles, warriors would act out their darkest manias on the field. The goddess of destruction. She's also the goddess that provides solace and comfort to warriors on the battlefield or battleground. Because of love, she crossed the biggest taboo that a goddess could and became a mortal. It is amazing that mortals are are that beloved, even by the gods themselves. Um, Macho was a goddess, uh, but she became human as a result of her love for a mortal man. <laughs> Crossed out. The mortal man betrayed the goddess and married another mortal woman. Stricken with grief, the goddess cursed mankind and threw herself into the lake onto the hands of death. Sounds dramatic. Um, I read this one. Or, I think I did. Uh, after the drought, the previous lord of the manor took his title. The previous lord earned a meritorious distinction alongside the great wizard Moors in the final spell during the war against the formers. For that distinction, he was given dominion over the city's estate. The city, Amain Macha, was named by the previous lord of the manor. Amain Macha has enjoyed great prosperity ever since. I want to know who this human she fell in love with. Oh, it means Macha's incarnation. That was different than what she said. I thought she said the body, like a twin. The goddess left her curse in the form of a song. It's possible that the drought afflicting the city before being named for her was not related to the goddess Macha's curse on the man on mankind after all. In fact, the details of the curse do not correspond directly with the city's drought at all. I hope that the curse left by the goddess is never carried out. Um... A main's emblem, the mermaid, was designed to believe that Macha... Oh, yeah, we read that one. Some say that the goddess Macha appear in the form of a siren or a mermaid from time to time. It is possible that this is related to the fact that a main Macha's emblem is in the image of a mermaid holding a shield. Macha became a mortal to con uh, consummate her love to a mortal, or of a mortal, even though she was aware of the thoughts of the mortal man. 
I don't understand this goddess who becomes immortal, knowing all that they are capable of, then blaming the man's weakness, all to kill herself in the end. Dang, all right, she could read minds. What the heck? Uh, Mancha is the goddess who gave up her divinity for love. The mortal man is to be blamed for forsaking the goddess. It's because of that man that the curse remains. If you are curious to see just how beautiful Matcha is, why don't you go meet Rua? The goddess Matcha has driven to place that curse on mankind. Women are always forced to countlessly sacrifice themselves for men. I have to say that the legend of Matcha is another example of all of such sacrifices. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand why the goddess would kill herself just because she was retained by a man. Aren't there uh, available men everywhere? <laughs> Who is this person, Olsa? <laughs> the goddess has the ability to read people's thoughts, but she still allowed herself to be betrayed by the man she loves for the sake of love. I think that is simply idiotic. Wait, apparently she looks like Rua, so I guess Rua is a, a citizen? I think the goddess... Goddess's will to believe in the man that she loves, despite the knowledge of what he would do, is quite amazing. What the man did, despite Macha's pureness of heart, was clearly a despicable act. I don't know why grown-ups try to make excuses for such things. Wow, that was kind of interesting. So I didn't have to go around and read that. That's kind of cool. I could have just read the book. So, okay. Context consumed. Exactly! Right, Orca? <laughs> You would get along great with Olsa, whoever that is. Rua works in the bar. She shows up on a schedule. Um, I wanna I wanna know what she looks like. Rua. Oh Okay, Rua. <laughs> Gosh dang! <laughs> Alright. Entertainer. She's also a horoscope reader. I would like her. <laughs> Does she, is she like there now? Where is she? At the bar? <coughs> Excuse me. Oops. Uh, when do, when do, when is she at the, uh, when is she there? She's over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is she single? I don't know. Let me go ask. Purchase a pass? <laughs> I have to pay to get in? She's not here. It, I'm assuming she's like, shows up here. When does she show up? Oh my god, she's like the symbol. She's found next to the piano. Dang it, when does she show up? Let's see. Does it say it on the wiki when she shows up? Working versus resting. Uh, she can read your daily horoscope and counsel you on a wide variety of topics. I want my horoscope read. When do we know when she's working? The next Mavi day she works? Okay. Can you remind me when that happens? I, I want to, I want to, <laughs> I want my horoscope read. <laughs> All right, what do I do now? Uh, put notes in the book. Wait, I thought I did that. Did I miss one? Um. Hmm. Next Mabby day. Do I need to go talk to Nelly? Maybe I need to talk to him again. Oh, it should say, say a percentage. It says 100. I bet I just need to talk to him. You dropped the note I gave you. Here, I picked it up for you. You should really try to keep a better hold on things. Oh my god. Wait, what?
Oh, read the book, collect the reward. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, dang it. Well, don't click on them again. Don't make the same mistake. <laughs> Drop, 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 drop. Okay. All right, what do I do now? The contents have been organized. Deliver the book to Tarlock. Okay. All right, let me go to Tarlock. And then we'll come back and get our thing red. Horoscope red. Well done, I appreciate such a comprehensive report. I see, I suspect it as much, but so Matcha actually has a vendetta against humans. While you were busy collecting information on Matcha, I too did some of my own research. You're aware of the legend of the advent of the goddess, right? Yes, the legend that says the moment Morgan arrives in Eren, I, it'll be transformed into a paradise. The legend also states that even the dead will come back to life, so needless to say, lots of adventurers have tried their hardest to bring Morgan to Eren, myself included. What people don't know is that it's just one interpretation of the legend. There's more than one, actually. The other one states that it's actually not Morgan, but rather Matcha. Oh! The difference between the two is that while one states that Morgan, the goddess of love, I thought she was the goddess of vengeance. Anyways, descends upon Eren and transforms it into paradise. This one states that Matcha, the goddess of destruction, descends upon Eren and transforms it into a living hell. Nice. Matcha must be here in, uh, in Texas. Rara only works at night, so she will be available in 20 minutes. Okay. Will you set a timer for me? Because I really want to see. I used to think it was simply a difference in the point of view when interpreting the legend. But with the goddess statue at the dungeon being destroyed and the stories of the possible second coming of Matcha floating around, I think it's just a matter of time before something catastrophic happens. Based on the information you've given me, I've decided to delve more into the second coming of Matcha. I'll be here researching. If I find out something si significant, I'll let you know. I don't like where this is headed. Please take care of yourself. Thanks. I will. Also, is it 20 minutes like real life time or 20 minutes their time? Okay, I have to go back to a main. IRL, okay. Cool. I want my horoscope read. Please and thank you. To the cathedral, talking to Willow. I actually really like that name. Or Willow. I don't know if it's pronounced Willow or Willow. I'm gonna say Willow. Da, da, da. It's kind of nice with the rain sounds. It's kind of peaceful. Okay, what is Willow gonna tell us? I have come, oh my god. I'm so fast. Ah, I know all about you. James has told me plenty about your commendable work. I called you here because, well, have you heard of how statues of the goddesses are being, or statues of the goddess are being destroyed in the dungeons across the land? I suspect the formers are behind this. With increasing news of the statues being destroyed, there have been more and more former sightings as well. It is my belief that the statues of the goddess protect Eren. It is their power that prevents the formers from invading. And if the statues are destroyed, it is the opinion of the order that the terrible wars of the past will be waged once again. The Church of Limelark has decided to mobilize their forces to keep this from happening. We will use the power of the gods to restore the statues. What I need you to do is this. I want you to enter the dungeons with the destroyed statues and clear them of any and all formers. That way, the priests can perform their rituals without interference. 
The dungeons are scattered throughout Aaron, but I'd like you to start with the ones near a main matcha. The captain of the guard there, Adon, will point you in the right direction. You should see him immediately. May the gods watch over you. Okay. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. All right, talk to this guy in front of the castle. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel more connected to this one. Maybe because I have better grasp of the story in this game. Good morning, Renan. Doing good. How are you? We're currently doing some story in Mabinogi today. Welcome. Bishop Willow told me you'd be coming. To be honest, I didn't realize you were a woman. There's not much time left, so I'll be brief. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what? Our scouts are currently accessing which goddess statues have been destroyed. So far, we've determined that the Coil, Rundle, and Pekka dungeons have been hit. This former command scroll is where we used to figure it out. Um, it's a rallying call to formers to invade Eren once the statues have been shattered. But we're going to turn this to our advantage and use it to quickly reach the areas where the damaged statues are. We can't make the original scroll do that, of course, but we're using it to create passes even as we speak. Here's a completed path for the Coil Dungeon. If you place it on the altar there, you should be able to reach the de damaged statue in no time. If you have any allies you can trust, I recommend having them accompany you. Once you've cleared out the formers there, members of the clergy uh, will enter the dungeon and restore the statue. For your part, you just need to, f need to focus on killing formers. The Coil Dungeon is... Forested is a forested labyrinth, so be on your guard of snakes, spiders, and jackals. As well as any formers like sprites, werewolves, and giant headless. Report back to me once the statue in the coil dungeon has been restored. By that time, the pass for your next mission should be ready. Anybody want to go do coil dungeon? <laughs> Gasp, a woman. <laughs> and an elf at that. <laughs> Jeez. Ah. <sighs> All right, uh, Coil Dungeon. Do I have a pass that I need to drop? Oh, there it is. Okay, Coil Dungeon, Coil Dungeon. Where is that one? Wait, where is it? Did I pass it? You got your transformation. I did. We haven't done coil much. Do I even have it? It has to be here, right? On the dungeon guide? Oh, here we go. It says abyss coil, but it's fine. Whoa. Um, anybody want to run coil? Do I have to have like a certain amount of people or does it matter? Do y'all want to come? It's probably really easy. Meet me at the statue. Oh. oh, goodness. You'll join me? Okay. I am on channel six, if you'd like to come. Make sure to stand on the uh, square. This coil is solo, so we can't run it as a guild. How dare them? But we can run Abyss Pekka. That's interesting. I wonder why they decided that some things would be solo and some things wouldn't. Is it because like the items that are dropped in the dungeon? Whoa, what the heck? I love how I can just have this happen to me even if I don't want it to. <laughs> what the heck? Channel six, channel six. <clears throat> yeah, it is there. It's okay. It says abyss in front of it, so I can see why you didn't see it earlier. You are here? Uh, you chose coil, right? Coil? 
Uh... Yeah, Abyss Coil. C-O-I-L-L. -L. Ooh, apparently I spelt it wrong. Oh, Grim, is this you? You consent by being in the party? <laughs> oh, okay. Is there a time limit? I have no idea. Oh wait, no, you're Peru. Never mind. Grim, Grim, you're a different Twitch. Okay. Uh, shouldn't be any limit. <laughs> not that I'm, I'm not worried. Okay. One second. We do have the same bow. Okay, y'all ready to join? Or ready to go in? Make sure you stay on the square. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Morgan, guardian of warriors and goddess of mankind, bless us with the power to protect those we love. Grant us the courage to use that power justly and the wisdom of knowledge to exercise it equitably. Fill us with the love that encompasses all we gain through that wisdom and knowledge and safeguard us in the name of that love. Oh God, what is happening? Oh God. It's shaking. I pray also that your sword may be awakened once more. Woo. What happened? He fixed it! Woo! What do we, wait, what do we do now? Oh, this way, wait. <laughs> wait, what? Did we go inside the dungeon? <laughs> oh, I thought it was like when we actually had to actually do the dungeon. <laughs> Wait, it was just a cutscene. <laughs> we didn't have to do anything. What? All right, now I have to go back to a main. All right, guys. Wow, y'all did so good. Good job, guys. Wow. Fastest speed run dungeon ever. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was not. I didn't realize it wasn't actually the dungeon. <laughs> it's funny. Great clear. Got some good good loot from that too. The power of teamwork. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. <sighs> the next one you do have to clear? Okay. I'm down. Get ready for the next one, guys. <laughs> it's a B. If you thought that was easy. It's good to see you in one piece. Did you run into any trouble at the Coil Dungeon? No. Your next destination is the Rundle Dungeon. I have a pass for you, so I ask that you head there and find the destroyed statue. The priest will enter and restore the statue once you've dealt with the formers in the area. <sighs> the Rundle Dungeon is the final resting place of a band of cursed pirates. Be on your guard against skeletons, mimics, disguised as treasure chests, and old pirate weapons that have taken on a monstrous life of their own. Once the statue and Rundle has been restored, return here and I'll have the next and I'll have the next pass ready. Alright, to Rundle. To Rundle. Is it gonna be the same thing where they just pray and that's it? All right, Rundle, 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 Rundle. It's a gang of pirates. Oh, 
<laughs> the power of prayer. <laughs> yeah. It used to make you do the dungeon many times. Oh, many times? What do you mean by many times? Do you have to like get a, a certain drop or something and it wouldn't let you finish unless you got a certain drop? Like two or three? Ooh, the pain? Hmm. Interesting. Um, Grim, did you want to come to Rundle? Rundle is on the dungeon guide. It should be on the one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six line. Rundle dungeon with this giant ogre looking, I forgot what that thing is called. I think it's an ogre. In what way, Rock? I don't know if Grim wants to come, but I mean, we'll be fine regardless. Makes sense back then, though. All we had to do was a generation for a whole year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, I... I think they wanted to extend the the story so that it was worth you know like all of the stuff that you had to do but nowadays i am uh there's a lot of content i need to catch up on in order to do some of the newer content so i can see why they would you know make it easier okay i'm gonna go in okay oh it's blue the dungeon has not been cracked yet. What is going on? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, perfect. Now we do it. Now we go. People uh, of upload actually Pokemon in the game. Oh, do you mean like the mod that they did? Yeah, the... The, somebody created a mod, a Pokemon mod for Pal, Pal World, and it got taken down. But it was just a, a player-made mod. It wasn't a mod made by Pal World. So it's not really Nintendo doing anything. Just against that action, against that person. Oh no! It's, oh, it's a Cyclops. That's what it is. A Cyclops. Oh no! <laughs> so scary. Get him. Oh. Oh, Morgan, guardian of warriors and goddess of mankind. Oh, here we go. Bless us with the power to protect those we love. Grant us the courage to use that power justly. And the wisdom and knowledge to exercise it. Equitable. Fill us with love. In the name of love, before you break my heart. Ah! <laughs> oh, thanks, Edwarden. Hey, there. It's fixed. But we actually got to do this. What is a... What is that? Excuse me? <laughs> what? That's a very interesting name. <laughs> nice loot. <laughs> I didn't know there was a weapon named this. Alright, what do I do now? Right, back to Adelon. <laughs> Thank you for coming, by the way. And helping me on this. It's super easy dungeons. I bet in the past they were more difficult and challenging, but I am... We're all OP now, thanks to Blanid. We're OP. I should probably go through here. You're 
as impressive as the rumors say. I'm glad to make you glad to see you made it through your foray into Rundle with barely a scratch to show for it. The last of the dungeons near a main is the Peka Dungeon. Here's the pass. I'm sure at this point you know what to do. The Peka Dungeon is haunted by the undead. The powers of another world have taken form within its twisting warrens. You've done well so far, but don't be overconfident going into this one. Once the statue has been restored, report back to me as usual. Your success here will, will mark the completion of a main matcha statue restoration project. Again, thank you. This would, would have been far more difficult without your help. To pick a dungeon. Everything will be e pretty easy until G19. Were you on a cloud? I was on a cloud. They just call us cocky. I'm actually running out of space with all of these gems. Uh, you need to unlock the spirit weapon, Jai. You can get a spirit weapon, and then basically you just, what, I, what you're supposed to do is just feed the gems to the spirit weapon. But uh, that doesn't happen until book three in Blanid. Was it book three? Yeah, it's the last part of book three. Ah! You probably do get a lot though. Um, okay. Shall we go? Oh, y'all left. Okay, I'll go in it alone. <laughs> Will I survive? You're still on book one. It's okay. Take your time. <gasps> I know, right? Why do we have to come all this way in? What? You'd rather let Comgen go alone then? You do know this is a dangerous place, right? Who the heck are these people? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. In I should have assisted. Insisted. I just need to check on the goddess statue. It shouldn't take too long. Don't you worry, Seamus and the others are working hard, so we can't just hang around sitting on our thumbs, you know? They're sitting on their what? Heh, <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is, who has the deal, who has to deal with the cleanup? <laughs> is there a guild bank? Uh, only for gold. Not really for items, unfortunately. I wish there was. That would honestly make sense. What is going on? What was that? <gasps> oh, no! It's not as scary without any music. <laughs> oh, run, Price, run! Or wait, Rudeer? <laughs> what the heck? Just as his, I suspected, the goddess statue has been heavily damaged enough that it's even begun to lose its protective power. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until the veil put in place by the goddess dissipates. You must restore it and quickly. Or we must restore it and quickly. Oh no! Oh, shaking! What was that? I heard, I think I heard something. Did I turn off the sound? No, I, I didn't. I guess there's just no sound here. Price, what brings you all the way out here? I'm pretty confident in my ability to get the, er, I mean, I heard you three went on a little foray into the dungeon, so I followed you, thinking I might find something interesting. Price, we didn't just come here to fool around. With the goddess statue being broken, we don't even know when the formers might appear. Ah, so that's the short of it. Look like, looks like my intuition was a bit off, in, bit off this time. We'd better make ourselves scarce. Come on, hurry! Agreed. Thank you for your help, everyone. What is going on? Wait, did Price just come in through the side opposite the entrance? Yeesh, I'm starting to see things now. No, oh, so is it not Price? Oh, wait, he beat up all these people. Oh, he beat up all the formers. <laughs> what the? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's another dungeon where I just go in. 
All right, I'm I'm done here. <laughs> the ancient cold floor. <laughs> the heck looked really crazy. Oh, oops. Oh no, I actually. I don't want that. My cloud. Sacred text. <laughs> Ooh. Look crazy. Ah, the sun! And the, uh, you know what? I never really noticed the background. That's pretty though. With the mountains in the back. Are we in Seattle? Alright, I have finished all the dungeons. Thanks to your help, we've been able to restore all of the destroyed statues in the nearby dungeons. Other towns are working on restoring the destroyed statues in their areas, but the formers have been mounting a resistance. I suspect the other municipalities will be asking for your aid soon enough. And if they do, I'd be grateful if you could help them as you've helped us. I have a question, if you'll indulge me. Are you truly the guardian of light who saved the goddess? James told me it was you who saved the goddess and that your mission is to walk the path of the guardian of light. Well, whatever the case may be, I thank you for your aid, but remember to take care of yourself. Aw, what a nice guy. Comgen's request. Talk with Comgen in Bangor. All right. Lovely PNG. <laughs> Did I watch, do I watch any football? No, not really. I don't, I don't know. Tom's not really into football. I'm not into football, so we just kind of just don't watch it. I mean, if it's on, I'll watch it. I think it's fun being around um, sport fans because they're very into the, into the game and it's fun being around people that are excited about it. But, uh, not me. Not really. I don't think we've met. My name is Comgen. I serve as the priest here in Bangor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. It's a relief to see you. Thank you for coming. Just as I ex oh, I like his music. Just as I ex expected, more and more of the goddess statues in the dungeons near Bangor are being destroyed. We have no army or militia here. If those statues are repaired, we'll have no way to defend ourselves against the formers. I spoke with James about this, and he says Arch Archbishop Willow has already asked for your help. Thank goodness. I can restore the statues myself, but I'll need you to eliminate the nearby formers so I can complete the ritual in peace without their interference. Please lend us your strength in restoring the dungeon's goddess statues. Samus is working near the dungeon mon dragon ruins. He has agreed to guide you to the dungeon with the broken goddess statues in order to help. May the goddess be with you. Okay, so I need to go to the dragon ruins. Not even the Super Bowl? Uh, I don't even think I watched last year's Super Bowl. I usually just hear, I usually just like hear about it and I don't know, I was invited to a Super Bowl party but I don't know. I guess I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my mind will change. <clears throat> I thought Tom loved soccer. He does love soccer. <clears throat> Hi, Sangster. Good morning. I see you're back from Potato Land. I am back from Potato Land. It's good to be back. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Just give me a minute to catch my breath. Phew! Alright, so, to get right to the matter, more and more of the goddess statues in the Bari dungeon have, are being destroyed. Everyone who can is pitching in, but we're still short of people. Do you think you could do us a favor and flush out the former's hold up in the Bari dungeon? Kongen said that the only way to perform the restoration ritual on the statues without being interrupted. It's mostly just imps and goblins you gotta watch out for in Bari. Though I've heard the rumor that ogres have been seen down there. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but you'll tip the odds in your favor if you bring a few capable friends along. Here, take this. You'll need this pass to get to the place in the dungeon where the shattered statues are. 
I won't talk your ear off since you've probably done this song and dance before, but if you happen to whiff it on your first try, well, come see me and be sure to mention items for Banger Dungeon Pass for restoration. Okay. Just remember that the bar is not the only place we need to clear out to repair the statues. Sooner or later, we'll need to do the same in Field Dungeon 2. Am I going through all the dungeons and clearing cl clearing them out? Is that what, what I'm doing? We can talk about the once talk about that once you and the priest have finished up your work in the Bari dungeon. Good luck out there. Okay. Bari dungeon. I wish this was in alphabetical order. At least I don't think it is. Who the music? Oh God! Oh no! It's he! Destroy the goddess statues! The wall that divides the human world from ours has only allowed lies and corruption to fester. Oh no, the statue! I'm going to face this incomprehensible hypocrisy and tear it down with my own hands. Okay. I'm gonna shoot you in the eye with an arrow! Or I'm just gonna watch this cutscene! Oh, is he fixing the statue? Good little Comgan. I like that sound. That sound effect. I've heard it multiple times. It's epic sounding. Um, oh! Dang it, there's a bounty on the loose. Or a bandit on the loose with a big bounty. Apparently. Yeah. Ooh, Finny Jim. I'll take that. So weird that cutscenes don't have sounds. Some of them do, some of them don't. Keep in mind, this game is older. <laughs> These generations came out in, uh, I'm not really sure, but a long time ago they came out. A long time ago. Got him. Ah, spiders. Oh, bats! Hold that thought. Hmm. I think that one hold picks up Finny Gems. I need Finny Gems so I can, um... What is an Albi Battle Arena coin? I need Finny Gems so I can level up my Finny... Finny... Whatever. Finny Finny. What's going on? What? Whoa! Ogre Warriors! Uh oh. Two thousand nine. It's from the two thousand and nines. Sky Lantern Kit. I actually need more of those. I'm like running out. I don't pick them up anymore. It's my bad. Oh, Morgan, guardian of the warriors and goddess of mankind, bless us with the power to protect those we love. Grant us the courage, use the power, justly, and the wisdom and knowledge, check I do equitably. I guess they say the same thing. They say the same prayer. Say the same prayer. Oh. They 
can be bought with like 10 gold. Okay. I pray all the little horror maybe awake and what's going on. Take that, Rari, run, run, where we run. Gotta slap some sense into him. Wake up! Don't you see you're being used? I got a war hammer. Don't you dare pick that up. Okay. Alright, what's the next step? Talk to Samus of the Dragon Ruins. Right. Right. Radio. Hmm. Um, about that. Oh my god, so quiet. The Deep Cut Con Deep Cut Concert? Intended for Nintendo Live 2024, Tokyo will be posted to Nintendo's YouTube on February 10th. The concert will be roughly 40 minutes. Oh, are you talking about the concert that they were, that they just mentioned today? Where am I? Deep cut. All right. Was everything okay at Bari Dungeon? Phew. Okay, now that's all that's left is Fio Dungeon nearby. Here, take this. Nothing has changed. You can take your allies with you as needed. Fio Dungeon is teeming with field monsters that are being manipulated by the former. Don't take them lightly just because they're field monsters. You'll be in big trouble if you do. Can you come back once you're done? I got... I, I don't have enough time to check every single area that was restored. Thank you. Alright. To Fio Dungeon. Fio. I'm like speed running all the dungeons. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. G3 was released in 2008. Wow. That was a long time ago. Oops. That statue is looking good. That one's not doing so hot. Team versus team? Interesting. Um. Oh, am I in the dungeon? Wow, it's so dark in here. Ooh, I kind of like the music. Have I done this before? I can't recall. I like this though. It's so moody. Um, I don't have my puppet on. Oh! Oh, <laughs> I don't need it! Oh god, it's the flying swords! And a golem! Oh no, not the golem! Small golem! Oh, he's beating up the swords! <laughs> Do it! Keep beating him up! Coil and Field are the same layout kind of dungeon and same music? Oh, really? I don't think there are rewards for any PvP content in this game. Mm, really. And launch! Have there been uh, any PvP events in the past? In Mabby? 
lighter. Ooh, building stone. I'll take that. Alright. Okay, what do we do now? We did Fjord, we did Bari, we did Coil, we did Pekka, we did Rundle. What is left? Back to Samus. It's a lot of back and forth, man. Too bad they haven't invented phones. Just call them right up. Kind of how like a Link Pearl in Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, la, 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 la. You can just talk to him in your earpiece. Uh, don't you have phones? There you are. I take it your efforts were successful. I'm glad to see that the statues have been restored. Thanks in no small part to you. Unfortunately, I've had some bad news to go with the good. It sounds like someone's going around breaking the statues you all put in so much effort to fix. The rumors say it's some sort of dark knight clad in black armor. I don't like the sound of that. Feels like things are going south. Oh, there are certain uncertain times. These are uncertain times. Be careful out there and help out the other towns if you can. Gods, no. They'll probably need it just as much as we do. Just as much as we... Whatever. Christelle's request. Time to go to Dumbarton. I need to go use the restroom again. This game takes years to beat. According to IGN, yeah. I mean, it's an MMO. Can you really beat an MMO when they constantly come out with new content? Interesting. There's news about Twitch Partner Plus. Partner Plus is expanding. Starting May 1st, partners and affiliates can earn higher revenue share for subs. Qualification starts February 1st. Interesting. Expanding the Partner Plus program to give more streamers access to increased net revenue shares on paid and gifted subs. Eliminating the... Oh, wow, wait, what? That's huge. They're eliminating the 100k cap. Changing the Prime Gaming subscription payout model to a fixed rate for each country. Wait, what? One second, chat. Anytime new, new information about Twitch happens, I usually like to read it right then and there. Um, streamers who maintain 100 plus points for three consecutive months will qualify for a 60-40 net revenue on paid and gift subs for their channel. We are reducing the plus points threshold for the 70-30 net from 350 to 300. Basically, if y'all have no idea what this means, basically, when you sub to someone on Twitch, it gives them the sub points. Tier 1 is worth like 1 point. Tier 2 is worth, I can't remember, 3 points. Uh, and then Tier 3 is worth like... 12 points. I got that wrong, but it's just, it's more. So depending on how many subs you have, you're eligible to, to get something, you're eligible to join something called Partner Plus. So if you reach a, a threshold, like say for example, 100, um, the revenue share goes from 50-50 to 60-40, meaning that the streamer makes more money per sub. Or if they get, I guess it's now 300 points, um, it goes to 70-30 split. 
so that's awesome. And we're allowing affiliates to qualify. That's even more awesome. When the Partner Plus program launched with qualifiers set at 350 points, it made sense for the program to be partner only, as just about every streamer who would qualify was a partner. With the lower thresholds, more affiliates can qualify, and they deserve to be rewarded for the support of the com their communities. Awesome. Good. Good change. I like this, Twitch. Good idea. Great. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was really wrong. <laughs> tier 2 is 2 points, and Tier 3 is 6 points. <laughs> I was so wrong with my point system. It's been a while. That's awesome, though. That's great. Uh, we're removing the U.S. 100K cap on net revenue at the 70-30 revenue share level for all streamers, including those in the Partner Plus program, effective immediately. Yeah, this was a complaint for some people. Previously, after reaching 100K annually in net subscription revenue, the revenue share would revert from 70 to a standard 50. We have received clear feedback that the 100K cap limited the earnings and growth opportunities for impacted streamers and served as a disincentive. This change is effective meaning starting today. Great. This does not impact me. I do not make that much. I would love to make that much money in a year, but I'm glad to know that the streamers that do make that in a year, I, that's going away because that's silly. Um... All right, what is this one, though? This one makes me concerned. Changes to the Prime Gaming subscription payout model. Prime Gaming is free. It's a free sub if you have Amazon Prime. It's kind of like a perk. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and you're given one free sub a month to any streamer you want, um, which is great, right? Um, however, let's see. Since 2016, Twitch... Users who are also Amazon Prime members have been granted a monthly token that they can use to subscribe to their favorite Twitch channels. The program has evolved, and the monthly sub-token benefit is now part of the broader Prime Gaming benefit, which also includes free games. These Prime Gaming sub-tokens have been supplemented source of revenue for many Twitch streamers, including myself, and have given viewers a chance to enjoy subscriber benefits on Twitch without having to spend additional dollars. Prime Gaming is a close partner and sees tremendous value in continuing to support Twitch streamers through this program. When we first launched, we decided to make Prime Gaming subscription payouts the same as paid subscription payouts. To continue offering the benefit in a substantial way, we are transitioning to a fixed rate model for Prime Gaming subs based upon the country of the subscriber. The shift to a fixed rate model for Prime Gaming subs will be in effect June 3rd. The rates will be found here. All right. So, uh, global payout rates. Okay, where's the United States? What is this? Oh, this is Asia Pacific. Um, two twenty-five. Is that how much I get paid per? Prime Gaming sub? Is that what that means? 225? <laughs> okay. Um, for most streamers, this change will not have a major impact on their revenue. While any decrease will feel disappointing, the difference between what streamers receive today for a Prime Gaming sub and what they will receive after the change to fixed rate is less than 5% in the vast majority of countries. And to be clear, this difference only affects Prime Gaming subscriptions, which is only a portion of streamers' overall revenue. Uh, finally, the streamers who likely will be the most affected are those who receive 70% net rev share on Prime Gaming subs based on historical contract terms. That's me. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> For some of those streamers, eliminating the 100k cap will offset this impact, but this will not be true for all streamers. Dang it! Dang it, Twitch! <sighs> At least I think that was me. Here, let me double check. I can go in my dashboard and check. That is the wrong button, Kylie! Stop it! Where do I go to see it? Oh, hold, please. There's so many things. Oh, here it is. There's so many things on the dashboard of Twitch. It's overwhelming. Yeah, that does include me. Darn it. Dang, nabbit. That means my income will drop. But 
uh, how, how can I see how many prime subs I have? I, it, when I hover over it, it doesn't show me. So I don't know how many, I don't know how many I have. Oh well, <laughs> what can I do about it? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I like the other news. It's kind of like a good, it's like good news at the beginning and then it ends with bad news. <laughs> at least bad news for me, not for the, probably the vast majority, but oh well. Oh well, also, um, you could watch the Twitch, wait, what are y'all talking about? It's 225 in the US, I think it used to be 250. Um, I used to get 70% of the Prime Gaming, so whatever that was, three, was that 375, 375? $3.75? Per Twitch or Prime Gaming, but now I'll get two twenty-five. Um, I don't think that many people use Prime Gaming though, so uh, I don't know. It is what it is, though. Um, I'm happy they're not getting rid of Prime Gaming. When Dan was talking about the 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 fact that. Twitch isn't profitable anymore, or it just hasn't been profitable for years, excuse me. Everybody was like, oh my god, are they going to get rid of Prime Gaming subs? Looks like they're not, but they're just taking a, a little bit of a cut. They're talking about the changes on the main Twitch channel if you wanted to watch. I do not want to watch that, no. Thank you for letting me know, though, but no, I do not want to watch that. Um, because... I need to go take a lunch break. It's 12.30 already. That was really fast. I think I'll stop here for Generation 3. I think I think I did some stuff. Look, I did this one. <laughs> I got one done. Kind of half-ish. I don't even know if that's half. But that's something. Oh, my bunny coins. Right. Mm, can you remind me to use my... To spend my bunny coins? I forgot to do it right when I finished fishing. Can you remind me to spend my bunny coins when I get back? Go fish. Not the game, but like the go fish. <laughs> um, let's see. There is a doctor here. There was one thing I wanted to learn and that was about the bartering. So there's in this game, there's something called commerce where you basically just transport goods from one place to the next. And um, Eridus was going to help me kind of learn bartering a little bit better. I had like a little taste of what it was like, but basically that's like the main way I think people make ducats and ducats is like another currency, uh, that you can use to like buy different things, um, in the game. And I don't know. I really like it. I like the commerce in this game. It's kind of like chill. Oh, that's a thing you could do, Miguel. <laughs> commerce maybe not bartering but commerce yes hi Ernest you wanna do you did you were you ready to teach me I don't know if Evan and Orca are here but whatever I learn I'll teach them if they're not here I'm not really sure I saw some of the news, Chill. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't like sit there and read it. I just know that I saw that there's a future. And that's like the best way to do it. If like your game explodes, you need to like advertise all the new things that, you know, are coming to the game. I'm happy they're doing that. I didn't get to read all of it though. Raid bosses. Cool. I, I'm going to make you make one of the items. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You said I needed uh, my cooking stuff, right? Barney is tricky because it needs a lot of life skills. Yes. And this week I do want to like level up some life skills. I mean, I'm getting really distracted because Power World came out and Shrouded came out. So it kind of takes a lot of my stream. Hi, guys. Oh, Tyler, is that Rua? I may not have seen her in the bar, but I see her here. <laughs> Dang. She's sexy. Effin's here. Yay. Hi, guys. Are y'all having a good day today? 
He ran 20 plus Alvia vans. Woo! That's a lot of smoldering. Five hours. Gosh dang. Boy, Lord, thank you for the 20 stream streak. Mm hmm. All of the survival games. But hey, that's okay. I like survival games. Might not be the best at them, but they're fun. Rua at home. I can't move in this form. Oh, you can't? <laughs> Why did you just go like this? Anyways, um, I you need to make shrimp taming bait. Okay, shrimp taming bait. Okay, let's see. Shrimp taming bait. Uh, you need to buy tin. Oh, perfect. Tin shrimp, tin sugar, tin garlic. Okay, we'll, we'll do. Tin shrimp... Will you explain why I'm doing this too? <laughs> I'm sure you will. Tin sugar. Where's the sugar? Sugar out here. Tin sugar, tin shrimp, and tin garlic. Where's garlic? Where? Oh, garlic here. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh, do I, let's see, is it? Taming bait. Is that mixing? Let's see. Shrimp. Maybe it's bake. No, maybe it's simmer. Maybe it's boil. I don't have to, I don't know if I have to retype it. Oh, there it is. It's kneading. Okay, so I need a rolling pin and a cooking table. Okay. Wow, y'all are tall. <laughs> Okay, so I need my cooking table and my rolling pin. Okay. All right. Let's see here. So let me knead up some of the shrimp taming bait. Am I, am I good? Am I doing all good, right? Okay. Is the percentages the same on Mabby Wiki? Sometimes they're, they're not the same. And you want to go by a wiki instead of in the game. Shrimp bait. 30, 38, 32. Yep, that's right. Oh, God. All right. Um, 30. Um, 38. <laughs> And 32? Let's see. Do I have to have like five star? <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh-oh. I made an unappetizing dish. Oh, I think that's on purpose. Oh! Oh, you can't you can't fail. Or maybe you can, but. Oh, okay. Well, I think I did it. All right, I just needed to make it to nine more times. <laughs> okay. Anyways, how, how bartering works is that you have to, like, make certain amount of items. Uh, and then you, I guess that's where I'm, that's where I'm a little lost. I don't really know what you do with them, but you do something with all of the items. <laughs> I thought I failed for a second. <laughs> nope. Shrimp taming bait. I'm doing, I'm doing good making. I don't even know if you can fail this, but I think I'm doing good. I wish I could, like, set, like, if I get five star once, like, one time. Oh, no. But it doesn't have any stars on them, so. Interesting. Welcome to my restaurant, guys. I am making some uh, taming bait for you to enjoy. It has a fishy taste, kind of similar to like caviar, <laughs> sort of. Is the crystal bird dragon a mount? It looks cool. <laughs> crystal bird dragon? Uh, it looks like it's a mount, yeah. That is really pretty. It kind of looks like the little pets that I've seen that people have, like the little, you know how you, people have some like little puppets? Oops. They look kind of like that, but this is a mount. I wonder if you can buy that mount in the store. Uh -oh. 
Um, <laughs> thanks for coming to hang out around me, guys. <laughs> okay, let's make... How many more? Ugh, five more. Okay. Is this one of the items, Eridus, that requires you to make something? Less sugar than required. Or is this like to get something else? Ah, you're a paper sheep. Three percent less sugar. Can I like stack them? Oh, I can. Do we have to go fishing for something with these? <laughs> do y'all want my do y'all want my shrimp taming bait is that why y'all are changing to different animals <laughs> i'm sure this definitely would taste better if a snake ate it than a human we will trade this in to get the barter okay all right i'm almost done i have one left one more to do Grand Blue Fantasy Relinks, February 1st. So many people have been talking about that. All right, I think I have officially made, I made 100. There you go. I made 100 shrimp taming bait. Can I put my tools away now? Yeah. Okay. Where do we go now? Now we will go to Karu Forest. Okay. Karu Forest. Karu, is there any specific place in Karu? Because there's Northern Forest, Tree Mark, Southern Forest, Snake Mark. Tree Mark? Okay. All right. Do we have to, like, get an item? Ooh, it's so dark. <laughs> It's so dark here. You defeated the black dragon's army. Everybody's animals. <laughs> I'm learning today, I've never heard of this. Perfect. Best timing to learn bartering. Oh wait, let me change my title in saying that. Learning bartering. Okay. All right. <laughs> Deposit all your money first. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back then. Hold on. One second. Let me go to the bank, and then I'll come back to the tree mark. Am I really going to be making that much gold? <laughs> Gosh dang. Okay. Open. Deposit. Okay, I deposited all my money, so hopefully that's okay. Um, Karu, tree mark. All right. Where'd air just go? Oh. Okay, now what? Let's go to the barter location. Oh, it's in Karu Forest? To be honest, I don't really know. Is there like multiple places for the bartering? Because I know there was one. It kind of looked like it was near an island, but I can't remember. Oh, there are four. Oh, okay. Is there an easy way to know like where all four are? Is it like, I don't know, in my menu somewhere? We will do one route today. Oh, okay. You have to do a route? Oh, okay. I thought you just had to like make the items and then bring them to the place.
Nah. <laughs> I mean, I knew barely anything. We have to take them to the mainland. Oh. Mainland being Ulda? I'm assuming. Wow, this is like in the middle of nowhere. Where are we? Oh my god, it really is in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of a friggin' forest. Okay. Alright, what do I do now? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me trade you all the items you will need. Okay, cool. Meredith was so kind and got all of this stuff organized so that I can learn and teach others. Ooh, okay, 50 Shylian. 20 Hillwyn Alloy. I don't know. I've never seen these items before. 50 Wheat Flour. Oh, wait, I do know those. I do know that. I do know those things. 8 Spin Gear. Okay. 40 Average Firewood. I got lost of where you went. Onyx, uh, this is where we are. It kind of made like a little circle. I don't know if you can see this, but that's where we are. We're in the trading post. Ooh, energy amplifier. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sturdy loop. Interesting. Did you have to make all of these items for this? Magic quill pin? Most of them, yes. Some of them you could just buy. Like from the NPC sh stores. They're from crafting skills you'll get later. Bard is incredibly good for getting ducats, and there is a good path. There's a really good path you can take for max profits as well that I do myself, and I used it to get into the top 30 commerce. Wow, holy. I'm learning right now. <laughs> um, oh, M's fine letter of guarantee. It can be pricey just to buy. That makes sense. Okay, so I got all of the goods. All right, what now? Bye, Rock. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Let me give F in his stuff too. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna look this up on the wiki. If I just type in barter on the wiki, will it? Uh, not quite. Um, what do I search on the wiki to like get information about bartering? Do I just do I just type in like commerce? Maybe maybe it's commerce. Um. Tell me all the items that you can get in different areas. Oh, wait. I think this is the... Hmm. Okay, we're in Karu Forest. Okay. Oh! So the, all the items that I got are all the items you can make at the Karu Forest spot. So, at this trader. Ah, I see. Apparently I don't have enough for a wooden craft. Let's see, what does it need? One magical parchment, two stuff, tough street. Maybe we're not making all of it, and that's okay. But I can make a wooden table. I can make a stone horse statue. And I can make a shellfish fossil. I forgot, oh, I forgot to give you one item, but we aren't taking the wooden craft. Okay, got it. Is it the fine silk? This is so much. <laughs> is your inventory struggling, Effin? <laughs> the fishing, the fishing event has made my, I mean, right now it's, it's fine. I spent a long time organizing my inventory. <laughs> but when I do the fishing event, I get so much in my inventory. Do you want me to give you my link for bartering? Um, yeah, sure, if you would like. 
Do you have my, my Mabinogi Discord? Maybe it's better if you put it there, so... I mean, you can do either in my Discord, DM it, I don't mind. Ooh. Fine, Silk! I'm on the commerce page down towards the bottom. Ah! It's a community link that was made for teaching people and showing everything needed for bartering. Yay! Okay, cool. Okay, assuming I crafted and I made all of these items. All right. Let's just assume. <laughs> I feel like that is obviously the, the big, the first biggest step into bartering. Now you should be able to buy all items. All right. Um, how many of each, should I just buy however many I can? I have an elephant. Uh, you should be able to buy them all on an elephant. Okay. The wagon is enough. Oh, should I go? Should I make it? Oh, I don't have a wagon. Is that okay that I don't have a wagon? Should I buy a wagon? Hi, Adam. Uh, you should. It's permanent. Should I do that now? <laughs> should I do that now? Uh, purchase wagon. Okay, buy with ducats. Oh, just kidding. Buy with seasonal ducats. Okay, I can now use a wagon. All right, <laughs> done. Is a wagon better than an elephant? Uh, the elephant doesn't have much inventory space. Oh, I see. Okay, wagon. All right. Oh, I see. I added one more slot. Got it. Um, so I just click exchange or... This looks like the same kind of thing. So bartering is like commerce, but you don't have to have the items. So you don't, but you don't, but normal commerce, you don't have to have the items. You just buy it. But bartering, you have to make the items and then you move it from one place to the other. There we go. Okay, I did it. You can switch to a wagon if you own it, FN. You probably can buy it. Oh, look it. Whoa, this looks cool. I've never had the wagon. Wee! I'm controlling the horses. Nay! All right, I'm assuming... I actually didn't pay attention. Um, I'm assuming we have to go somewhere really far away. Uh, let's see. Um, what's the farthest place? Vales? Philia, Core. Oh, it looks like Core is the farthest. All right, it depends on what item. I'll let y'all choose where we go. I'm just gonna assume I know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. This thing, do I use it? Wait until we get there? Okay, I'll wait. You have to remind me though, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Uh-oh, just don't forget. Okay, I'm gonna do it now, cause I will forget. I will, I will forget. Use, okay. All right, okay, I did it. <laughs> what does that thing do again? Oh, just gives you ducats right away. Hi, Minami. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm learning how to barter. Tear looks like the best overall. Wait, how do you know that? Tear? Oh, you're right. Tier is the best. 
Oh, except shellfish fossil. It's lower, but not by much. You're right. Okay. Two tier. Ew, math. <laughs> I just, I mean, you just look at the first number, right? Oh, God. We're off. Oh, yeah. Let's join a party. Join Eridus's party. Hi, Popo. How are you? Cool. Is this like a newer add-on to commerce or did it come out at the same time? Oh god, we're gonna have to deal with the uh, bandits again. Oh, this is newer? So in order for this to be efficient and worth the cost, Having handicraft, I don't know, blacksmith, tailoring, weaving. I don't know all the, all the life skills that's required. Oh, by the way, if somebody wants to go pick up, Winter, if you want to go pick up like a little bandit thing, maybe you can get like a homestead pass from some of these bandits. I don't know if you want to do that though. Oh, wait, that was, no, but that's okay. Oh, that's fine. What the heck? There was only one that was so fast. There was only one bandit that showed? <laughs> what? Oh, that sounds awesome, Adam. Can, can, while that person's busy getting you some stuff, can they come by mine, mine too and get me some? <laughs> Boba sounds great. I, I, I'm I always in the mood for Boba. Oh, wait. Speaking of. Hold on. Not speaking of, but I can put... Should I put on these ogre thingies? Or wait. Or maybe this one is better. I got these little commerce brooches. Oh, shoot. That was my bad. I didn't pay attention. Oh, wait. What the heck? Why doesn't like five spawn? <laughs> oh, there's a Trinity staff. If you're in if you're in game with life skills, it makes everything easier, especially if you have oh grandmasters. Bartering is something I su suggest everyone at least try once because it is pretty fun gathering all the materials. Huh? Is it is it uh, is the materials always the same, or does it constantly change? Uh, oh, they're always the same. Interesting. So they're probably, like uh, Holy said, there probably is, like, a certain route people take. <laughs> it's so fast. There's only one guy that shows up. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Is that a compass? Oh, it's a sundial. Sorry, and you're welcome. Thanks, I want boba now. Same. What's y'all's favorite kind of boba to get? I need to start experimenting more. I constantly just get Thai tea, which isn't bad. It's amazing, but it's always, it's what I get every single time. I feel like I need to broaden my ho horizons and try something new. Uh, it's the same, but it can change depending on the season. It's the same this season as it was last season. Gotcha. You've never had boba? Oh, it's really good. You should give it a try. Definitely get tapioca. That's like the little, that's uh, the little balls that are in the drink. They're like tapioca. It's really good. I can show you a good barter route sometime as well. I used to teach commerce and bartering on my streams a few months ago. Really? I would like that. I actually really like doing commerce. It kind of is like uh, a very passive thing to do if I'm not feeling like running dungeons or something. Um, and I like it because you can just do it with a lot of people. 
and you can be like watching like that this is what we did was this yesterday we did like airship commerce and we had like a group of uh, a whole party and we were watching a movie in discord while we were all like doing commerce together it was really cute I love red bean too. Wait, I didn't know red bean was a flavor of boba. Taro. Brown sugar milk tea. That one's really good. I've had that one before. I've been vibing super much with coconut milk tea and tons of brown sugar syrup and boba. I don't know how I feel about coconut. I could try to give that, give that a try. It does sound really good. It's a nice, relaxing, more laid-back thing to do with friends, especially airships. I have my airship as well, and I used to host three to five ships of people at a time. Wait, host three to five ships? What? That seems really difficult because different ships will get hit with different, like, wyverns or red dragons at a time. Do you just wait for them? I'm lactose intolerant, tummy boy, so gotta, oh, why did I forget that you're lactose intolerant? I should have known that. Maybe it's because that cookie that you made. <laughs> that cookie, <laughs> you know, the, it's like a brown, what was it called? Oh, wait, it's a bad word. It's that cookie. You know where, uh, what is it? It's like brownie and then chocolate chip cookies put together and then you what it what, what else do you add to it there's like other stuff you add to it but I thought that had milk in it can't confirm coconut milk tea is really good how <laughs> could you <laughs> sorry <laughs> why is there why is there only one is it because we haven't bartered before? That's why we're getting the easy bandits? It has to be sweet, though. Don't you have to tell them usually how much sugar you want in it? We'd all be in sync with one another. Multiple people can attack the same red dragon. Sometimes it can get hectic. Wait. Multiple people can attack the same red dragon, even if it's not on their airship? Oh, promiscuous brownies. <laughs> That's another name. That's another name. Oh, my God. Chocolate chip cookie dough plus Oreo plus brownie batter. That's it. Promiscuous brownies. That's it. <laughs> Freaking. There was... um. Oh, Adam, our... Are you and your family uh, uh, excited about the new Avatar Last Airbender TV show that's coming out? Apparently, it's coming, come, going, going to come out February 22nd. But I don't know if y'all ever watched the... Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank God. Did you see the new trailer? <laughs> Isn't it good? I'm so excited about it. I was, I was telling Stream earlier. I saw a really funny tweet. Um... Basically, the the girl, um, I forgot her name in the in the show, but basically she is responsible for finding the avatar with that bear, pig, ant eater, whatever thing that was. Basically, it like licks and it can paralyze you, and it has like a really strong sense of smell, and it can find people. Anyways, um. Yeah, that girl showed up and I saw the internet was like going crazy because they're like, oh my god, she looks so hot. And there was this one post that said that she graduated from the University of Ba, ba Sing Slay. <laughs> I love it. But it looks so good in every aspect. I like how they kept everything like, I don't know. There was like some scenes where I'm like, I know that episode. But some, some, some of them I couldn't recognize. You can order extra sugar. It's coming so soon. We watched the OG series religiously. Yeah, same. Same. <laughs> Every time my friend comes over, that's what we watch. I've seen caps from the new trailer, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm wondering if I want to watch it. No, you should watch it. I don't feel like it gave that much away, personally. It was kind of like a, Wah! you know, 
Like, this is exciting! Yeah, the big mount thing that smells stuff, <laughs> yeah. I still have PTSD from the movie. I never saw the movie! <laughs> and then I also totally forgot that the... that Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show, was going to be a TV show. I thought it was a movie. I totally forgot. I got confused. But I'm happy it's a TV show. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Tom has never seen Avatar The Last Airbender. I wonder if we have time to, like, catch up. I wonder if he would like it. It's so good, though. And it's just, like, a feel... It's a feel-good show, right? Like... Right? I wonder if he would like it. I wonder if... Hmm. I'm not sure. I wonder if I should, like, make him watch it before the TV show comes out or just make him watch the TV show. I don't know. What do y'all think? To be fair, I've already seen the series, too, so it won't spoil anything. I'm gonna hurt some feelings here, but the movie wasn't that bad. <laughs> I've never seen it! I can't even tell you my opinion, because I've never... I've never experienced it, but I just hear how much people hated it. June and her pet, she, sheer shrew, sheer shrew, that's it. Thanks, Biro. It wasn't the best, but if you don't get emotional during the Northern Water Temple Avatar State scene in the movie, you have no soul. <laughs> that went over my head. Wait, what's, what's happening? Pick a abyss later? Um, probably after the bartering, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna play Enshrouded, but I can probably later today. I can, like, message you when, I, when I'm done streaming and I get back on. Hi, Teal Rosie! Thanks for the raid! Hi! How was your day today? Here, let me do a shout out. Hi, Teal! Thanks for sharing your community with me. Hello. It's the only movie I ever walked out of the theater for. What? You literally walked that? What? Really? I've never done that, even if it's a movie I didn't necessarily like. We're gonna sell in Bangor. That's fine. Is Tear too far away or something? We can go to Tier. Oh, Bangor has better profit? By wait, how do you how do you know? Oh, here? Wait, how do you oh How do I, what am I looking at? Mental math? <laughs> am I just looking at like this number? Like whatever is the biggest is the most profit? Because here I see tier. Here I see tier. Here I see tier. I mean, Bangor's not that far off. Bangor. Dory, I'm not saying we're, this isn't a good idea. Oh wow, that one's even higher. Times the most amount of items. Ah. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> My stream started not working anymore. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Did an ad just start playing right when you raided? Great. Love you, Twitch. I'm sorry. Having, having any kind of... Technical issues during a stream is the worst. I hate it. Because then I feel so helpless and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and it kind of just gets me so flustered. So it makes it harder to try to fix something if something breaks randomly. So I usually have to like end my stream and then just like calm down and then like figure out, okay, like what could it be? Because it could be anything. I hate that, especially when it's like updates, like when the wind, when Windows updates, sometimes it like messes up with my audio. Oh, it's the worst. 
the worst. Encoding took too long to load. Encoding, in encoding took too long to load. It's embarrassing even when you know it shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like it's my fault, especially since I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Gosh darn it. The final item is bigger in Bangor by a lot, so it compensates for the losses of the other items. Yes, don't forget to use the letters. Thanks for helping, by the way, Erdris. This is nice. <laughs> can, can it always be like this? <laughs> Can you teach me tailoring? Er, uh, no, I take that back. Uh, handicraft. <laughs> the letter only applies to the first trade, so you need to sell everything in one place. <laughs> ah, okay. And that's how it always is, right? Ah, uh, for the letter. Unless you have multiple letters, right? So like maybe one item is better in tier. So you go to tier, use that letter, use another letter, and then go have deliver the same item that you already have to Bangor, let's say, and you use the second letter. It's a huge loss of money. The letters are pricey. Oh, okay, never mind. I never mind. That makes sense if the letters are pricey. But but if they weren't, that's what you would do, right? That's really annoying though. <laughs> Got it. It'd be annoying to go from one place to the next. We made it! Like, no matter how forgiving people in chat are being, I still feel dumb for not fixing it immediately or knowing it was broken in the first place. Yep, that's me. That's me! That's what it said? Encoding took too long. Hmm. Hopefully a good old... Now, obviously this doesn't always fix things, but a good old restart, turn off and on again helps. Usually that's kind of the source of the fix, the fixes to all of my problems most of the time. Most of the time, not all, of course. Uh, do I mind, do, uh, do, do you mind if I ask what headphones? Oh, yeah. Uh, they're the, uh, do I have exclamation mark headset? Try exclamation mark headset, but they're Logitech. I can't remember the number. They're Logitech G7 something. It matches my mouse. They match. They're like a pair. It also comes with like a keyboard and a really cute like cloud uh, wrist guard. I didn't get the keyboard or the cloud wrist guard though. Did it not work? How dare it? Okay, it's the G735. That's it. I have it in my on my Amazon storefront thingy. But yeah. The G Logitech G735. I love this headset. A lot of people have had issues with it. I haven't had the same issues, luckily. Um Yeah. But the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have like a battery in it, so you have to charge it. I had a, a Sil Series one, which I also liked. I like this one more though. I like this. It looks a lot better. Um, unfortunately, my still had my Steel Series headset died, so. But it had like a battery where like when the headset died, you would just switch out the battery, plug it in, and take the other battery that was already fully charged. I love that. I love that system way more than the charging system. But, I don't know, that's just how the headset was made. But anyways, I like this one still, even with the charging. Good old tech 101. Turn it off and on again, exactly. <laughs> right, Lulu? Oh, wait, my bot did post it. It just took a while. That battery swap was slick. It was. I miss it. You're welcome. I like it because you can change. I don't think you can tell, but you can change the color of this. And you can make it do, like, different things. And it also has Bluetooth. Um, so, like, 
But I think Bluetooth is where, like, people had issues with it, with it being, like, really loud. So definitely look that up before you buy it. I'm not really sure how people had that occurrence. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter say that their headset would just randomly get really, really loud, and it would, like, all, almost burst their ear, eardrums that crazy. And I was like, oh, God. I was like, I hope that doesn't happen to me. I don't know what caused it, but I think it's because of the Bluetooth. But I barely ever use the Bluetooth. And even when I have, I haven't had that issue that they're talking about, so I don't know. But that's been, like, the only complaint I've seen, which, no offense, it's kind of a big one. It's kind of a big one. Kind of a big complaint. Oh, wait, I want that Sky Lantern kit. But haven't had that issue, and I like that you can change the colors. It's nice. And it'll also, like, flash red when it needs to be charged. Thank you, Brio. Oh, or have a good day. Thank you, Brio. Have a good day, Brio. You're welcome. Yay, we made it to Bangor. Yes. Yes. Oh, goodness. Your gold may overflow. Really? But I have zero. Oh, I have 723. <laughs> Wait, really? There's a bank here? <laughs> what? That's how much money I'm going to get? Gosh dang, okay. Wait, really? There's a bank here, a deposit in a pet? Oh, okay. Uh... All right. What do I do? Do I just do the same thing where I just select and sell? Just sell one at a time? Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, sell. How much money do I have? I have 200K. Should I go and like deposit it now? Should I just deposit it every single time? Okay, wait. No. Hold on. It said something about a letter. Sell all. Oh, okay, okay. Sell. <laughs> Sell. Oh. Sell. Oh, God. You are right. What do I do now? Run! Wait, do you want to submit? What do I do? Do I click OK? <laughs> Money! <laughs> My money fell. You have more to sell. Uh, yes, close it. Okay. Run! Where's the bank? Run! Run! I'm running! I'm running! Oh, wait, do I put it in pets or do I run to the bank? <laughs> How do you do this if your money is just going to overflow? Bryce, hurry up and take my money! I'm coming back. Ah, don't take my money. <laughs> ah. Wow, that was a lot of gold, man. Oh, my money's... Oh, my God. I didn't even look at the due cost that I made. Holy cow. So, I made... Is this how much gold I made? Jeez, I made like 1.5 mil. Oh, I missed some. Oh, there you go. I made like one, almost 1 1.6 gold. Wait, did I still miss some? I don't see any more. How many ducats did my? Oh my god, did I make like? Oh, how many ducats did I have before? Holy cow, that's a lot. I just made 1.6, yeah, 1.5 mil in both gold and ducats. What? That's amazing. Holy cow, that is better than the other commerce. Why don't we make that much with airship commerce? I thought we used to make a lot with airship commerce. <laughs> Lulu, <laughs> I just saw that. Yes, I would like to legally change my name to Grace. <laughs> Finally, it has arrived. 
Oh, oh, by the way, hi, Ski. Hello. There are two more routes that I take that make another two mil or so. Gosh, dang, that's amazing. I can increase how much I hold. Oh, how do I do that? The amount I can hold is 1.1 1 .1 mil. <laughs> uh get level 10k and you will get one mil more to hold oh okay well i'm almost there let's see i'm at 8k sort of there but i mean you have to the only problem is with bartering is that you just have to get the materials which probably takes a while i'd imagine um, and then craft some of the materials and then put it all together. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of work still. I was just lucky because Eric just gave me all this stuff to teach me how bartering works. Freaking cool. You can do this weekly to make everything for a week. Wait, what do you mean for a week? So we can't do it again this week. It takes around four hours to gather everything from scratch. It's not too bad. Hi, Bill. Plus, you got to regrind back to Silver 1 every season, which ends March 1st. I mean, that's still a long time away, right? March 1st, we still have the ending of January, and then we have all of February still. Oh, we can. We just not the same barters. We have to go to... Oh, the other three, since you said there's four, right? There's Caro Forest, uh, Para, Kalita, and Philia. Is that, why, is that why you did the slash? So there's four different barters you can do each week. But what about the one at Caro Forest we didn't have the materials for? Can you go back and do that one? Probably not worth it, but can you go back and do that one? Oh, but you have to unlock silver one before you can do bartering. Right. I was able to do that when we did airship commerce. was pretty fast. We can if you really want ducats. Oh, I mean, we really want gold. <laughs> but, yeah, a fair. It's kind of risky for me if, if I'm not around trustworthy people. People are just going to steal my money. <laughs> no, my money. That was like 500k on the ground, which maybe is not a lot to some, of pe some people. That's a lot to me, though. Can you just spam it? No, Orca, we can't. It's like once a, once a week. Oh, it's locked to you. We can pick that. Oh, we can't pick, pick that up. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, you can steal? Apparently not. Apparently the gold is locked to me. But it can disappear, I'd imagine. If you don't hurry and pick it up. How do you put gold on your pets? How do I make... Oh! How many gold... How much gold can... How much gold can my pet hold? It holds one million? Oh! Cha ching So my pet can hold one million gold. All pets? All pets? Or just that pet? All pets. Cool. I didn't know that they can hold gold. Even though it was right there on the little pop-up window. I believe you lose your airship every season as well. True. You have to get back to five million ducats. How do people, I wonder how people do that. I guess they just run a lot of, oh, they barter. They barter. No, they don't. You can't barter. What am I saying? You have to do normal commerce runs to get airship. And then airship helps you to get unlock bartering, I think. And then you just barter. Oh, two barters is enough for an airship. Silver 5 is easy to get with land commerce. Oh, I didn't know. 
Anyways, this is like a cool little passive thing you can do in Mavi. I like it. Thanks for teaching us, Eridris. Thanks for giving us all the items to be able to do that. That was really nice. I have 3.2 ducats now. That's a lot. Do you want this fine silk back? Apparently I had eight left, or eight left over. Keep it? Okay. Okie dokie. I think I have a place for it. <laughs> yup, I do. Oh, no I don't. Yes, I do. Look at this. I am so ready for weaving and tailoring. I'm so ready. I have Orca's mat so you can try it later. Did you hear that, Orca? Did you hear that? If you want to do it later, Eridus has all the items for you. That was really kind. Thank you, Eridus. Um, I would like to pause here playing Mabinogi. I want to keep playing, but there's a new game that came out today called Enshrouded, and I wanted to uh, give it a give it a try. It looks fun. I really enjoyed Valheim when Valheim first came out. Or did I play Valheim when it came out? I played it later. That's for sure. Um, I'm gonna get off. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to hold on before I forget. I know I'm going to forget. Let me go spin my bunny coins before I forget. Guys, last day to spin your bunny coins. Last day. Last day. <laughs> hold on. Let me do this before I forget because I know if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. I just got back from the gym and I don't know how my limbs work. So I don't know if I can play properly. You don't have to do it now. Eric just wasn't saying right now. Just saying like when you're ready. <laughs> don't worry. No hype for Pal World. It has a creepy Dreamlight Valley vibe. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I did. I actually did play um, Pal World this week. I played it. I played it on Sunday and Monday. Look, bunny whistle. I bought it. And then I can. I have ten left over. Um, I can buy uh, unrestricted pass. Uh, unlimited, unlimited shadow mission. Um, a perfect free repair kit. What should I buy? A shadow crystal. A Letica combat 4x coupon. I don't think I'm going to use, I don't think that's necessary. Should I buy the crystal or the passes or the perfect repair kit? The thing is, all these expire, so. <laughs> really, Lulu? You played Power World all morning. You're still going. It's addicting. I like it a lot. I don't know what to buy. I want to buy this, but I can't afford it. Should I just buy a dungeon pass? Or maybe I can do this, because then it would be free. Maybe I should buy two of these. But the only problem is that they expire, man. How long? How long? They cost six days. Jeez. I bought three of the Matsuri things. Oh, yeah, these are pretty. Oh, shoot. It costs 30, and this is 15. I only have 10. Buy some dupes of the homestead items if you want. I can't. I only have 10 left. I bought a tower with, I built a tower with like a thousand wood and it was awesome. <laughs> I've got to see it. Um, I'll choose, I'll choose later. I feel like I'm not going to lose out if I don't. <laughs> 